your marriage is as bad as you want it or is as good as you want it. <laughs> and to introduce me, nobody will see my face. <laughs> anyway, guys, welcome back to another video on Before I Got Married. Um, this is an awesome brother, uh, and I'm honored to have him on today's session on Before I Got Married. You guys know that though. <laughs> with what? Is it? You know that with what? With everything, so. <laughs> Anyway, please introduce yourself to my audience. Yeah, so basically your name and then. Oh, okay. I am, I'm Sayram. People call me Gozo. Uh, I'm married to one of the best midwives in Ghana. Uh, who is trying to make Africa a safe place to give birth. And I'm proud to be her husband. I'm a freelancer, web developer, photographer, and above all, a church worker. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> and it's actually true with what he said. He's proud to be a husband to one of the best midwives in, in Ghana. I'll put her link in the description. You can check it out. Um, and then check her channel out to subscribe. She's doing some amazing stuff on midwifery stuff with wives and children and babies and pregnancy and all of that. Anyway. Okay. So welcome to Before I Got Married. Thank you. Sure. Now... Before you got married, I want to know how it was for you. What did you know about marriage? And like literally, what did you learn that from? Wow. Okay. Uh, and there wasn't any deliberate effort to, to learn about marriage. Yeah. Uh, probably came by just observation or staying with married couples. So uh there wasn't anything like today i'm going to study marriage but uh, through observations i i learned some few things about marriage wow yeah this question is more like did you grow up with your mother and your father together at some at some point i was with them yeah at some point i wasn't i was with a man who was also married so Okay. Because yeah. I mean, I asked this. I, I asked this to uh, find out where the the observation of like oh, observing okay. couples in learning this from from both ends. Yeah. When I was with my parents, the observation was still ongoing, and then my uncle to same. Sure. Yeah. So would you have said that the observations you you made, the, the things you saw, were they good for you? More example for you. Mm. Uh, because when you got married, because I was gonna, I will ask you that when you got married before you did that, what was the process for you? So would you say that those observations were something good that you had learned from? Oh yes, so much. Uh, one thing that was common with uh, observing my my parents and then my uncle, uh, the common thing was that I've not seen any of them argue before. Mm. Like I've not seen my mommy arguing or fighting my dad before likewise my my uncle and the wife and it was a common thing i've i've seen or i've noticed that, that they don't fight maybe i don't get to see it yeah, yeah. maybe they do it in their rooms but yeah, yeah. it's it's something I've, I've realized that since i lived with them it hasn't happened yeah. so it's a it's a strong thing i've i've taken you from them that? yeah wow that's a good one yeah that's really a good one that's really a good one. Okay, so you got married. Yeah. How was the process for you? Was it difficult? Was it process. fear? Was there fear? Was there all those Okay, things? I wasn't scared because um, for some reasons I, I, I wanted to marry at at the very early stage, even though uh, the challenge was that I wasn't making any plans to marry. Mm. But every, every year I say, oh. Say that again. You wanted to marry at an early stage. Yes, but I wasn't but, making any plan. There wasn't anything in place that was taking me closer to that goal. So every year, oh, child, I'm going to marry this year. But nothing like savings, nothing like seeing a counselor or talking to a pastor or anybody. I was just, oh, I'm going to marry this year. I'm going to marry this year. So 
I mean, all my close friends, they, they know that about me that I, I've been saying that Charlie, yeah. I'm going to marry early. I'm yeah. going to marry early. Yeah. I, I, I can't, I can't pinpoint that uh, this was the reason why, but I think it's just that uh, inborn feeling that I want to marry early. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it took me some time to realize that Charlie, if you want to marry, uh, you must take some steps too. Yeah. yeah. Can you share some of those steps with us? Maybe oh, like, like savings, yeah. like uh, preparing to talk to your, uh, your woman about your, 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 your intentions, yeah. uh, her plans, mm. and how the two of you will be together. You have to talk about all those things mm. uh, because marriage is not just like an event that will happen and then we talk about the next one. Yeah. It's something that you're going to be in for a long time. So, uh, I mean, mainly conversation. If you're going to see the father, it's a conversational yeah. thing. If he, it's her, it's still conversation. So those things were all not in place. I was just hoping that something will happen and then Sarah will be married. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a, a deception. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I get that. Wow. But you mentioned some three powerful things. The one is the savings. Because I feel like a lot of people who are doing that, they don't, they don't plan with this in mind. They don't plan to save before they get married. And some end up borrowing or going for loans to get married. What's yeah. your take on that? Oh yeah, I mean, a lot of people, most people do that, especially if you don't save for, for, for that. I mean, everything at all that you would want in life, uh, you can't just wake up apart from your age that one day you wake up and then you are old <laughs> yeah uh, you are so, so some something yes yeah. i mean you need to you need to plan for it yeah. it i want to advise that you take loan for for such uh, an event because bro it's it's just about you if if you try something you you usually we spend big on the 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 wedding not the marriage yeah which is I don't, I don't, I don't see the reason why. Because, I mean, my marriage, a lot of things were eliminated. Mm. Um, I mean, I took, I took the advice of my pastor, Pastor William Beckson. Yeah. He, he told me that uh, simple is timeless. So, Charlie, mm -hmm. go for something simple because yeah. no matter the age that will come, do not compare any big events to yours because yours is already simple yeah. and it's timeless so yeah. i took that into consideration and then it's been it's been our breakthrough i yeah. mean i'm sure i'll share some of the steps yeah. that were so amazing that we took yeah. yeah yeah wow this is quite an information that you should take a pen and paper and jot some things down because <laughs> i'm sure the things he's saying if if you pay close attention it will help you in preparing to get married as a man and um, a woman because even in that he said that you'd have to discuss with your partner that's your wife yeah how you guys are gonna be together how you're gonna plan it and how you're going to take it even to the wedding and preparation that's right yeah that's 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 so much all right so of all that you have said of all that you have observed now that you are married how do you how how is the experience for you and how do you foresee your process your journey it's <laughs> just three months i think 27th of, of yeah. this month will yeah. be who's like well next two days yes next yeah. two days will be yeah. exactly yes which means next three days yeah, yeah. exactly uh, like three the months. third month or, so i mean uh, there wasn't like there isn't any much uh, I mean, i'm not disappointed some people might and then they get disappointed i'm not disappointed mm. but i the thing i've learned i mean before you go on don't forget your thoughts but i really like this you said you are not disappointed yeah. and maybe you should, we should ask if anybody got disappointed when they got married yeah because i think i feel strongly that there are a lot of people who got married and they feel disappointed disappointed Okay. And that's not a good thing. Not at all. Yeah. yeah. Please continue. At all. Yes. Uh, but in this, like to summarize the three months, yeah. I mean, we are, we are, uh, I mean, usually when people ask me, I tell them, uh, your marriage is as bad as you want it, or it's as good as you want it. Mm. So, I mean, 
a single man can be very like boring his mm -hmm. life can be very boring yeah likewise a single man can be very happy yeah likewise marriage uh, exactly. you make it how you want it to be mm. so you, it's a result of the thought of the two of you like put together so if you want to make it happy that is how it will come out to be but if it's going to be sad it's as a result of the, the thought of the two of you yeah. yeah so i feel it's as bad as you want it to be and it's as good as you want it to be mm. that that's that's what i'll say uh, my experience in, in this in so this journey far. yeah so far. so far wow before you share your last words with us uh, you mentioned that you share some few steps to what you took to make your wedding marriage ceremony now be yeah. well like you wanted it can you please do that for us oh <laughs> okay uh i may not be able to capture all okay. but uh, i mean if you're going to, it's, it's more or less like an advice uh, to someone who is getting married i mean i one of the things i did was i i didn't print a lot of the invitation yeah. cards uh, i i didn't see a need for it that's 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 some cost that you can cut away if you are uh, you are getting married because it's not a requirement for you to marry let me ask you a question that yeah. might sound a bit controversial <laughs> what if you are with this woman who said no 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 let's pray like thousand what would you do you see all these things boils down to a conversation you've had conversations with her right you are still talking her into that which which and means yeah, which means kind of which means there is something missing mm. i mean uh, you need to get her to that level where she sees what what is right mm. and not something which is just for fun mm. yes you must you must actually help i'm not saying you always be successful in that yeah. there are times that challenges have to compromise and let it be yeah yes i mean some happen in my in my in my case yeah. but after my wife realized, oh, Charlie, maybe we shouldn't have done this. Yes. Me too. There were things I thought we could have, like, uh, engagement bowl, uh, gifts. Mm. Uh, I mean, we got plastic bowls. But I said, oh, Charlie, maybe ceramics would have been better. Yeah. But the way the people rush for the bowl, I said, oh, Charlie, <laughs> would have spent much yeah. going for the ceramics. Yeah. So I realized that, oh, maybe I was also going too much then. Yes. But there are so many things we can cut away when we are you are planning for marriage, which we did. Uh, I mean, if you have a, a room, dress in your room. Don't go and take any hotel as a man. If your wife, your wife to be wants to go, fine. But you as a man, make sure you cut the cost. Yeah. I dress in my room. Mm. Uh, I mean, the guys that were following me came to my place, mm. and then everything was was done here. Yeah. Uh, but I talked about the invitation cards. Yeah. Even program outline. Yeah. We printed just I think two copies, black and white. <laughs> one for the MC and one for the pastor. And 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 please listen, it's not to mean that they are poor. They are not poor. Oh no no no. <laughs> it's, no, not, no. it's not to mean that they are cutting down costs to say that oh Charlie, I need you. No, it's not about that at all. This is just proper planning. Proper planning. Just put it that way. Oh yes. We 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 we. Even the, the food, I think we just got, we got some brown envelope and then put the, what, samosa and then some drinks in it. Yeah. I mean, after the wedding, a lot of people contacted me that they like this idea. They, mm. they, 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 they want to do this. Mm. Even those who were like, they are already married. Yeah. They contacted me that they want to do the same for mm. uh, their siblings yeah. because it was, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah. It was simple. It was nice yeah. uh, it's the cost is less and after all we are married we are happy yeah and that is the ultimate thing if don't spend i mean w before getting married we had some bills uh, to settle yeah. but that very saturday night we settled every bill mm. that very saturday mm. night that we mm. yeah so it was it was was free it was yeah. free of yeah. like and, uh, and we were free from every debt yeah I mean, decor, simple, not, not like nothing much to, like, I, I would have loved to give you the cost, <laughs> like just like that, yeah. but don't worry, I'll, I'll share the, the, <laughs> the, the details, details with, with him and then he'll, yeah. he'll make it available. Yeah. I, I'm trying to put it on paper so that guys that are 
ready to marry, you can just go through that and then cut, cut, cut some cost. I, I, I would have loved it if my wife were to be here so that she would. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there are a lot of things I skipped. She, I'm sure she would have uh, mentioned a lot of yeah. things. We, even for her going to the hotel, uh, you know, when you sleep in a hotel uh, from Friday to Saturday, uh, I mean, that's like, like times three of yes. So yeah. she, she told me that I'll go on Saturday dawn mm. because that is when she's needed there to yeah. for the makeup. Yeah. I didn't decide it, but she realized that Charlie, we can cut a lot of costs. So she went on the uh, Saturday dawn, mm. which is like cool. Wouldn't you love to marry a woman like that <laughs> who thinks about Charlie? Yeah. Uh, let's cut costs and make things better. Yeah. Yeah, so it was it was it was a blessing. I mean, I can I can talk about this the whole the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. I know. Thank you so much for for this. Oh, well, just that. This, this just. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is uplifting, man. Yeah, like, yeah, that's fine. I feel like this session was meant to be, was meant to happen, and I really um, like that. Please share some last words. To our oh, and... I think I just have to re echo what my pastor told me. Go and check on my pastor. Yeah. Pastor William Bexham. He's my pastor too. <laughs> <laughs> it's that simple is timeless. Yeah. Don't do anything to please any man. Simple is timeless. Yeah. And and go for it. It will make it will make your life like, very comfortable. You don't have to bother about what someone will say about Charlie, don't forget your wedding because they'll go to another wedding the next Saturday. Absolutely. So relax and do something nice and be happy. That's it. Thank you for sharing this with Charlie. us. Charlie, my wife is midwife for Joe. Go and check up on her. Absolutely. Yeah. Like Especially if you are married, if you are single, she, she, she's doing something amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Out. <laughs> Out. <laughs> 